Police are looking for a suspect. The suspect is seen in this new cell phone video right here. He was caught three times within the past week breaking into cars near Hyde and Lombard Streets. The most recent break-in happened this morning. Crown Force Taylor Basaki spoke with some of the victims involved. She joins us live now in the city with more on all of this. Taylor. Pam, I spoke to a couple who drove all the way from Chicago here to San Francisco, and on the very first day of their trip, this burglary happened. They say the suspect got away with anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 worth of items. This serial car break-in suspect was seen smashing car windows near Lombard and Hyde Streets in San Francisco three separate times over the past week. Five to ten minutes later, we came back, and I noticed my passenger seat window was completely shattered. Uh, they stole a little black book bag that we try to put like under the seat. And um, I mean, I was just so devastated. Ms. Rojas and her husband Manuel Jimenez were just two of the many victims. The couple just arrived in San Francisco after driving all the way from Chicago. And on the first day of their visit, this happened while they were parked at the famous Crooked Street to snap a few photos. Just watching a guy look through my personal belongings, a prop piece of property that we own. And then busting her window, it, 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 it hurts. Jimenez says the suspect got away with cash documents and personal items worth a total of $2,000. Just a few days later on Monday morning, the thief struck again. This time he got away with a camera in large case. It's hurtful that we traveled from Chicago driving to LA, driving to San Francisco, and then watching a video of the guy breaking into another car this morning, stealing their camera and a briefcase. That's their memories, and that's something they're not going to be able to get back. Over the last two years, Lombard Street's become a hot spot for thieves, where countless smash and grabs were also caught on camera. However, it's not the only tourist attraction getting criminals' attention. According to the latest crime data from San Francisco police, the city's central station, which includes Fisherman's Wharf and Chinatown, has seen a 753% increase in theft from vehicles in May 2021 compared to May 2020. Now, witnesses say they saw that same suspect targeting cars just a couple of blocks away only a few hours later. Victims and neighbors, of course, say that they're fed up seeing break-in after break-in in this city. They say something needs to change because the crime and the break-ins are becoming more brazen and happening more often. For now, we're live in San Francisco. Taylor Bisaki, Crowd4 News.